Okay, good morning, you guys. All right, so what kind of driver are you? You guys are probably like a better one than you because I don't Instagram when I drive. <laughs> I'm watching the road, I promise, and I'm almost in my house. But I had this, um, I love analogies. I love like analogies that stick in my brain. And so hopefully you do too because I had this one come to me while I was working out today and I was like, I like this, I like this. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I was thinking about, um, I was actually thinking about the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. Good morning, uh, Jolene. Hey guys, morning, morning. So um, I've been talking a lot to my clients lately about being able to switch in between the parasympathetic, so our rest and digest recovery mode, and the sympathetic, our go, 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 fight or flight, um, on mode. And what I really want to clarify is that being, and I'm, I'm sure you guys know this, but being in either of those all the time is not healthy. A healthy, sorry, kids are calling me. A healthy nervous system is um, being able to switch in between the two. Oh my gosh, sorry guys, my kids are, you know when your kids are like, why is she not, why is it not going through? Can you guys hear me okay? Let me know. Okay, so anyway, um, I was thinking about a driver, being a good driver. So a good driver knows that there are times when you let off the gas, you kind of cover your uh, brake with your foot, and thank you for the thumbs up, appreciate it. And, and you kind of cruise, right? You know there's times to like let off the gas, just be comfortable, just be chill, and cruise a little bit, even prepare maybe for a little bit of a stop or a slowdown, and there are times when you freaking have fun and you go and you hit the gas and you hug those curves and when it's a good moment to do that and a safe moment to do that and the right moment to do that, you freaking go, right? But it's not, if you go, 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 go as fast as you freaking can all the time, what's gonna happen? You're gonna lose control, you're gonna spin out, you're gonna be stressed out and you're just not gonna have as enjoyable of a, of a, a drive or a journey. So I was thinking about that, like our bodies, our bodies are like our vehicles that we drive through life. So there are times when we are going to just be able to hit the gas and freaking go, right? And also like in our, in our life journey and our purpose and our vision, there are times that we're just going to hit the gas and we got to freaking go. When the opportunity is right, when the time is right, you freaking go, but you can't stay there all the time, right? We have to slow that back down sometimes, chill, rest, hover our foot over the brake. So that's like a skilled driver, right? Knows when to go and when to back off. And then I was thinking, okay, what other kind of drivers are there? All right, so I was thinking there's the grandma drivers. Are you a grandma driver? So a grandma driver, before she even gets in the car, she's already scared. So she's driving through life, and she's like a little bit scared. She's going really slow. There isn't even danger yet, but she's already worried about it, right? On high alert, like everything is super careful. Don't make any mistakes. Um, that's, that's how I, sorry grandmas, but that's how I see a grandma driver. It's just driving through life kind of scared you know, and not feeling competent, not feeling like you, you got this, not having um, that confidence in yourself. That would be a grandma driver. Okay. Next up would be, um, a teenage driver. Are you a teenage driver through life? So a teenage driver through life would be when your parents are around or other people are around in the car, you are very responsible. When other people are looking, you are doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing. Um, but when you're by yourself, you're freaking eating chips and blasting music and you're like, you're just like, everything's off the rails when nobody else is watching and you're just like, you don't have that same level of responsibility when you're by yourself than you do, that you do when you're around other people. All right, so that's, a, that's how I see a teenage driver. Um, next up would be, um, Sorry, I just pulled my garage. My kids are all like ambushing my car. You guys know how it is. Here's Micah. <laughs> Mike, say hi. You're live on Instagram. Hi. <laughs> Here's, do you guys get ambushed like this? Hi, Kyle. <laughs> I'll be right in, okay? Hey, yes, right, right up front. Yeah. All right, so, um, okay, so next up, uh, it would be a, what was my other one? We got the, oh, drunk driver. <laughs> okay, so a drunk driver is when you think you got it, but you don't. You think you got it, but you don't. You're like, like you think that you're woke and conscious and you got everything figured out, but actually you're like going all over the lanes. You're like going too slow when it's inappropriate and, and everybody else can see it from the outside. You guys know when you're on the freeway and you're like, what is going on with that person? And you're like, probably somebody had too much to drink. I'm just going to stay way over here you know, when it's like late at night. So that would be like a drunk driver is like you, you think that you got life all figured out and 
and actually you're skidding out and slowing down and making weird turns all over the place because you're not willing to accept like I'm not good I got some <laughs> I need a little break here um, some pause to like work on some things so I was just thinking about that I was like man you know what I think what's really healthiest is for us like a skilled driver somebody who like is really good you know you're think, think you're going like cross country a skilled driver knows when to when to gun it when to go when to have fun and when to slow down when to when to take a break right and there's phases and there's appropriate times to do that and um, I, I was just thinking like I was like that's something I've experienced in my entrepreneurial journey right is like there are times when it just has to be pedal to the metal it has to be go 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 it's just it's the right time and it would be stupid to sit there and just like cruise control and not take advantage of those moments but there's I can't be in that mode all the time or I will gas out I will get out of control it's like Mario Kart you know like when you were like you're like I'm just gonna go as fast as I can and you just freaking hit stuff and spinning out all over the place like that it's when when appropriate right and when you get that feel for it of like now I know I can like I can go I can gun it I can hug those curbs you know and when I need to back off because I'm gonna things are gonna get a little out of control if I don't I think that's a really cool way to look at life um, and and being accept being um, accepting of the slow moments too I have definitely learned um, that they can be a gift right when there's not a lot going on when things have kind of calmed down I'm like, I know the storm is gonna be coming again soon, so I'm just gonna enjoy this um, instead of being uncomfortable in the slow, right? Some of us, some of us, I'm wired a little more to be somebody who would be uncomfortable in the slow, right? I like fast, I like progress, I like excitement, I like, I, I live in that arena more. So I've had to learn to back it off, but maybe you're somebody who's real, real comfortable on the slow and you don't like danger, you don't like new, you don't like uncomfortable, You somebody hugs a curve too tight and you're like oh my gosh you know so maybe you're that way in life where you're not willing you know maybe you're the grandma you're not you're like scared you're going slower than you even need to because of fear in your mind of what dangers might be coming so just some things to consider you know ask yourself like am I the kind of person that like knows I do I see appropriately like when to hit the gas and go and see appropriately when to back off and, and, and hover my foot over the brake and just be aware, right? Do I look way ahead? Do I drive with as my vision as far as it can go or am I just right in front of my car right here, right? And do I have that confidence in myself that I can manage this life or this car appropriately, you know? And those are, that's all deep work that comes from meditation, hiring coaches, uh, doing some sort of personal development program. Um, thank you, Becky. Becky's one of my clients. We do this and hire. Um, and she's, yeah, you're killing it. Becky. She's living all of this. My kids are like wanting attention so bad. If you guys could see what they're like, Micah's been like hitting my window with sticks and I'm like trying to like <laughs> focus. I gotta go in. Uh, really appreciate all my posts. Very inspiring. And you make me think about myself. Thank you. Thanks. I love, I love seeing what we're capable of. You know, I know that we're all capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. And so that's everything, everything that I'm doing. It's just for us to take, I think it's so healthy for us to be able to take a look at ourselves and see what areas we can improve on without being hard on ourselves about it, right? It's not, that's not the way. The way is like, oh, okay. It's a very self-loving space. Like, oh yeah, okay, I am totally doing that. Got it, damn. It sucks a little bit, right? It's like, mm, okay. And then doing the work to improve on that. I love that. It just makes your whole life so much better if we're willing to see our own work that we need to do, you know? Uh, Becky you started out as a drunk driver. Yeah. Drunk, drunk drivers are just like, I got this. I got it figured out. <laughs> I don't like it when I see myself getting in that space. When I think I got something figured out, it's like, girl, just be open, right? Be confident in what you, what you feel, but be open to new paths and new ways. All right, guys, I'm gonna run in, go make some breakfast for my babies, go hang out with Nick. And I got some posing practice today for my bikini competition. You guys, I need to do a live telling you about the bikini competition prep. I, I'll be real. It has been, I have been unsuccessful at controlling my food to that level. <laughs> I'll put it that way. I don't like that much control over my food. I don't think anybody does, but um, anyway, it's been a journey. It's been a lot. I've had a lot of lessons learned. So I'll have to do another live about that. But anyway, I'm going to run. Thanks guys for listening. Have a great weekend. Bye.